Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and today I'm doing another uh, DC Universe Classics figure uh, from Wave 16. This is figure number four, which is Robin. Uh, very cool to get another Robin. Um, nice to get him in this uh, outfit. This is the uh, variant head sculpt. There's two different head sculpts in this figure, or in this uh, wave. Um, he comes with the head and the uh, crotch piece of Bane. Closer look at what the figure looks like. There is just a little bio on a Robin in case there's one person out there who doesn't know who Robin is. A little bit of stats, and of course the other figures in the wave. Very cool. I've already reviewed the, the top three here, and I will be reviewing Mercury and the Azrael Batman pretty soon. You can see there's the other uh, head sculpt right there. This is the one I picked up. I had the chance to get both of them. Um, I, I like this one a lot better. But, uh, you know, I guess it just depends on what your taste is. Um, they are packaged a little different in the packaging. Uh, this one is in this kind of falling back pose. The other one, I think he's just standing there. Anyways, uh, you can build Bane. And this is made by Mattel in 2011. So let's take a quick break and we'll get him out of the package. Alright guys, when we were back with Robin, a uh, very, very disappointing figure I might say. Um, but before we get into that, let's get into the uh, very cool pieces of Bane. Got his uh, head and his crotch piece. Very cool. Um, so two more figures to go and I will have him complete. Really looking forward to that. For me, this is the main reason to buy Wave 16 was for Bane. Um, but you got the cool Riddler and... Uh, this Robin and some other stuff I was looking forward to. Anyways, I'm Robin. He comes with this uh, little battering. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. It's got a little bit of detail there on the wings on the bat. It's got those lines and stuff, but very small. You can see, just barely, you know, fits in his hand. It's really tiny. And he also has this uh, grappling hook. Now the variant I think had different accessories. I'm not sure. Or this is the variant, but I mean the non-variant. I believe had different accessories, or at least it was packaged different. I don't think I looked too closely at it. Um, he's got this cool little uh, handle. It's got like a, a fishing reel looking piece, and then a string, and it goes onto a grappling hook, which is very nice. Very cool looking piece. Now, on to the figure, which. Uh, <laughs> Uh, in so many ways, this figure sucks ass. I was really looking forward to this one, too. I do have a Robin. I got the Robin from the uh, Walmart exclusive uh, two-pack with the... I think it was just Batman and Robin or whatever. But uh, I wanted the uh, the earlier series, like I think it was Wave 2 or Wave 3 uh, Robin, but I just never picked it up. Um, but I was excited to get this one, you know, his different outfit and stuff. But uh, this thing, uh, this is like the worst quality control ever. I, I've got some pretty bad figures before, you know, bent legs and stuff. Uh, but but this guy's just awful. Um, the the legs aren't bent or anything. Um, first off, uh, he's got a really nice head sculpt. I do like this version. The head looks great. It's got a really cool, you know, plastic cape. Nothing too fancy, but it's nice. It's a really short cape too, just goes to the back of his knees. Um, really cool outfit, I like the, the design, everything looks really good as far as the red and the green there, with the yellow, everything's good, he's got his little underpants on, and they're all like textured, like scaly looking. Um, and he's got really cool looking shoes, I like to give him the uh, kind of Robin Hood shoes, which is pretty dope, it fits very well. <laughs> but uh, I don't know how well this is even going to pick up on my camera, but look at the fucking knee joint. If you guys can see that color difference, this is like almost a pink skin tone, but this is like a fucking gray tan or whatever. That is awful. That is like the worst skin tone ever. This one actually isn't as bad as this one, but it's still off compared to the rest of the leg. But uh, I'm sure you guys can at least tell a little bit of the difference. But trust me, in a person, that's a lot bigger difference than you guys can see. Um, and I'm not sure if the, the legs were, it almost seems like these were cast in green plastic and then just painted over, which is horrible. You never cast in the darker color. 
I don't know why they do that. I'm not sure if that's what it was or not, but the paint on there, the skin tone paint, just doesn't look right to me. But you get into like some of that, look at the joint, it's got like this green coming through, like I don't even know what that green piece is doing in there. Ugh. It's very awful. I don't know, I'm, I don't know, I need to do something about the skin tone. His outfit looks awesome, like his costume and everything. You know, everything looks good except for the skin tone on his arms and legs. Just, uh that really makes me mad. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty lenient usually with bent joints and stuff. Uh, yeah. As irritating as it is, you know, I let stuff like that slide. But this is just awful. I mean, somebody wasn't doing their job at the factory over in fucking Indonesia or wherever they are. You know? Like, somebody just let that shit slide. I don't know how... And it was packaged, you know, like he was in his side pose, like falling back. So this knee that's really bad, you know, in the package, I couldn't see that it was fucked up. You know, if he'd have been standing like this, you could have, I could have saw in the package and been like, oh, hell no. But I don't know. You know, if I was a badass customizer, I'd try to fix it and paint it, but I'm not. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I'm definitely going to keep him, but I'll figure out something. Another issue I have is that uh, he's kind of one of those figures that doesn't want to stand up. You kind of have to lean him forward. I mean, he stands okay, but uh, I, I had a little bit of issue standing him up, which is kind of annoying. Let's go through his articulation real quick. He has a nice ball-jointed head, ball-jointed shoulder, swivel at the upper bicep, double-jointed elbows, which is very nice, a swivel in the wrist, up and down torso joint, swivel in the waist, Got your standard DCUC hip joints that go in and out, back and forward. Swivel at the upper thigh. That double jointed knee, which is awesome. And your back and forward pivot joint at the foot. And it kind of rotates a little bit. Um, so, not bad, you know. Not perfect, but not bad either as far as articulation. I, I really like how they added the uh, double jointed knees and elbows for a couple of these. Um, like I've said before, they're really introducing those double joints and... I think they're working out pretty well with that. Um, so anyways, that was the Robin. Thanks for checking them out.